Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doconic here, and I'm, I was actually on my way home from work, and I got some notifications on my phone from the Twitter feed, and we have the new Kale and Khalifa available. We're about to go ahead and do a quick review of the card stats and information that are available. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I provide here on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button, and also don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications, that way you get the most recent and up-to-date information about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle delivered directly to you. Thank you, enjoy the video, and have a great day. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off. First off, I want to shout out uh, the legendary Derry. Uh, <laughs> my name is Jeff. I guess this is Jeff. Uh, Jeff from the Reddit. So thank you for posting up all the links to the Twitter account so I didn't have to actually go onto the Twitter and look for it. Not a big deal. It's usually just like twitter.com forward slash dokon underscore official. And you can look at all their status and everything. But thank you for posting it. I want to make sure someone got the translations. And with that being said, um, thank you to De Mayo for getting the translations for us. Um, so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go over one card. And after we go over the one card, we're going to go and watch the super attack. Um, and then we're going to talk about actually Kale for a second. Just a quick second about her linking skills. But uh, let's go ahead and start off with Khalifa just because she's the first in the list from De Mayo's post. Um, Khalifa, look at this art. It's pretty freaking cool. I think they actually got the art from both of these characters from the episode a couple episodes ago in Super, not from the Tournament of Power. Uh, they both look freaking badass. Uh, Khalifa, let's go ahead and start off with her. Her leader skill is all types key plus two and 50% increase to attack, defense, and health. That's actually not a bad leader skill for all types if you guys don't have it. You don't have that type of a leader skill. I mean, uh, I know the, the the Mass Saiyan actually has key plus three and fifty percent for all types. But if you don't have the Mass Saiyan, Khalifa is definitely a runner up for that because it's only key, it's, you're only missing two uh, one key right there. And if you bring a Mass Saiyan friend, that means it's just very very good. She has a really good leader skill, guys. That's all I'm trying to say. She has a good leader skill. Um, her super attack, Energy Blast, deals supreme damage and increases defense by thirty percent for one turn. Now, for a one-turn defense buff, maybe they should have increased it. Uh, this is an opinion on that, just my opinion. Um, it, it's cool, it's decent, it makes her tank a little bit better. Um, overall, I think they should have done a little bit more with that. It's only Supreme Damage as well, but she's not a Dokkan exclusive, so I can't really say too much about it. But she does increase her defense, which so she becomes a little bit more tanky. Her passive skill is attack up by 70%. So that's definitely not bad. And a chance to counter an enemy attack. She has what it looks to be a... Um, uh, almost like the Super Saiyan 4 is how they counter, but it's, it just says a counter enemy attack. There's no nothing specifically taking a look or taking into consideration um, if it's a super attack or just a regular attack. So if it's a counter, it's just a counter. It could be a super attack and a regular attack. So that makes her pretty damn viable on a team, but it's a chance. We don't have the percentage on that. It's a chance. Uh, but anyway, cool. Link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Battlefield Diva, Universe 6 Warrior, Golden Warrior, and Ready for War or Prepared for Battle. So that makes her pretty damn relevant on um, a hero's team. Uh, she's agility. So I'm just trying to think of on, uh, on a Super Saiyan 4 team. Uh, she isn't optimal in terms of link skills. She's pretty practical, though. Um, yeah, I'm going to use the practical versus optimal. <laughs> practical, uh, she has Golden Warrior and Prepared for Battle. So that's freaking awesome. She has Super Saiyan and Saiyan Warrior Race. Those are all pretty damn relevant links uh, on the team. The only thing she'd technically be missing is Super Fierce Battle. But, you know, it, it's not bad. And that, that attack plus 70% off and the chance to counter will mean she's going to be doing less damage. And she's tanky. So that's cool. Um, max stats are HP of 97.85, attack of 76.45, and defense of 42.12. And as you can see here, we also now, uh, at least on the bottom of the card, as you can see, uh, we actually have the, um, I guess, the, uh, the the attributes that they're getting now. That's going to be freaking cool. So just something to make note of. But yeah, pretty badass character. I like it. I like. It. I don't really think she's going to be too viable if you have optimal characters, but she's going to be fun to play with, especially with, the, with more of... The cards and the characters that are coming out from the from the Omniversal tournament. Um, let's go ahead now and watch her super attack.
So that's freaking pretty awesome. I really like the fact that she does counter. It shows her counter and her super attack. Uh, there's no, like I said before, it just says countering attacks. I, I wish they kind of gave us a little bit more elaboration, whether it's a normal attack also, but that's freaking awesome. She doesn't do amazing damage, but she does decent damage. I mean, again, not Doken exclusive, but who she is as a character, pretty damn freaking good. Now let's go ahead and go and talk about Broly's girlfriend or sister. I don't know how you guys would want to talk about that. What do you think? Do you prefer being Broly's sister or Broly's girlfriend? I don't know. Personally, I don't really care. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into her review. Kale. Leader skill is physical types, key plus two, 70% increase for attack, defense, and HP. So another really good leader ability. Uh, it's lacking key, definitely lacking key. But if you do not have the physical Broly, I mean, she's literally, she's literally a female Broly. It's awesome. <laughs> um, she's just lacking that one key. She's just that lacking that one key lane for her leader skill. And I know I keep on saying that. I need to stop. Um, <laughs> uh, physical type, so she's a really good leader, man. I'm telling you, she's not bad for a leader skill. Um, obviously, unless you have the Korra, I mean, obviously, then you're not going to want to. But they finally gave us someone other than uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Transcendent Ultra Rare um, Broly that you could use to link up with your other Broly. I mean, obviously, those two are going to link very well together. Uh, anyway, um, it's a really good team. Now you have a better team to run for Evils or Extreme Super Saiyans. It's really awesome. Um, her Super Attack, Gigantic Impact, same thing as Broly's, deals immense damage, which is actually really interesting because, what do you call it, uh, the physical 70% <laughs> Broly only does supreme, uh, yeah, supreme damage. Um, that's freaking funny. I just laughed at that. Uh, it increases defense for 30% for one turn, so she gets an intense defense buff from her super attack. Uh, that's cool. I like that. That's 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 um, that's um decent. I'm not going to be, I'm not upset at that. Uh, the Broly doesn't have any defense reduction, at least the physical one doesn't. So I guess she kind of makes up, and they're going to be really good linking buddies, which we're going to talk about in a second. Um, passive skill attack plus 100% and will definitely do an additional attack. High chance for it to be a super attack. So that's freaking awesome. I like the fact that they're giving her the ability to, to do um, a guaranteed additional attack, but they're not making it a super attack. It makes it, it dulls the character down a little bit. Um, honestly, in terms of a character, I would probably consider running her over the other Broly. But the fact that they, that they dumbed it down a little bit so that way she's not guaranteed a super attack makes her less relevant than Broly. But overall, I probably would just because um, of the physical Broly anyway, because she's going to link with the Super Saiyan 3 Broly just as well. Um, link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race, Berserker, Battlefield Diva, Universe 6 Warrior, the Saiyan Lineage, and Prepared for Battle or Ready for War. Now, the one thing I'm going to say here, why the hell doesn't she have the Super Saiyan Link? Now, unless it's just a mistranslation, but I really don't think it is. She doesn't have Super Saiyan, but she's a Super Saiyan. That makes no sense. That's 10% buff that she doesn't have. What the heck was Bandai thinking with that? That makes no sense to me. I don't know. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about her and the Broly uh, real quick. First off, she has Saiyan Warrior Race, awesome Berserker, which is a, um, attack plus 20% when HP is 50% or below. So you have to have that extreme situation, but that's a 20% attack buff. So that's awesome. That makes them both hit so much more, so much better, so much better, so much more damage output between the two of them. Um, the, ba the Battlefield Diva, which is something that's not going to really be utilized too much. Universe 6 Warriors, still not going to be utilized that much. So those two links are kind of throwaway links. Um, and then you have the other two, Prepared for Battle and the Saiyan Lineage. So Saiyan Lineage is the key, and then Prepared for Battle is another key. So three key between the two of them, and then a 20% and a 700. Um, not optimal on an extreme physical team. I'm just saying you can run them together. She makes a very good linking buddy for that Broly. The only thing that, I, like I said before, that I don't understand is she doesn't have Super Saiyan. Really, that, that doesn't make sense. I mean, that, that takes away from her being optimal and just someone that you can run if you don't have anyone else. I mean, at that point, you still have the actual Super Saiyan Broly that you get from the event, the farmable one. Um, you have him, and he'd honestly probably be a better linking buddy overall. Uh, but anyway, that's just my opinion. I think she's a really good character overall. She does have that immense damage modifier, which makes her hit a little bit better, a little bit harder. Uh, it's just cool to have. I mean, for collective purposes, definitely, I probably wouldn't pull for her. I mean, a JP size, I'm not going to. If this came out on the global side right now, I wouldn't pull for her. I personally don't find her very useful. Um, and the other thing that stinks about her is I'm pretty sure she's a, a super type card. So she's not going to run on a villain's team very well. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at her super attack. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, that was freaking cool. I like it. I think that they did a good job with these two characters. Um, I think it's a little bit late. I mean, maybe because it came out a couple weeks ago. It took them a couple weeks to get the animation and the rights down to actually use those two characters. They're both awesome. They're both good characters. I like them. I like who they are. But that's it, guys. That's the news for these two characters that are there. Hit that sub button if you're new here. Thank you for joining me here today, and I'll be doing a further review if any new information comes out.